cloud computing uh, is, is not something you do because it's cheap. It's something that you, it's a road that you go down because it allows you to make the best use of the resources that you, that, that you pay for. We don't have a problem with releasing e-commerce applications into the cloud. Um, we have been doing for a number of years. It's one of the only ways of delivering um, very large launches, very large event peaks, such as launching a ticketing uh, system or something like the Pottermore um, the launch recently. It would be almost unfeasible um, or um, ill-considered to, to try and launch that with physical servers. Um, even the security aspects of it, um, we don't see as being a, a particularly big challenge for the vast majority of commercial applications. We have reduced our, our cost to, to serve a session by about 40% since implementing a, a cloud computing methodology um, and we expect that number to improve um, and to increase as we grow because of the, the benefits in terms of, of scale out. More and more uh, customers are moving to the cloud and they need to think about how they architect the solutions and they need to think about the services that support those solutions. The cloud is now a generally accepted uh, proposition for, for customers to use and what's important is actually you have the capability to both work in-house and use the cloud and that the key to the future is having common interfaces, common tools, common management that will allow you to switch between the two as what's best for your company. You have cloud services to actually store data and data has to have business value. I think the industry, a bit like cloud over the last two years, will, will still have different opinions of what big data is. Uh, I think from EMC's viewpoint, there's those three, three facets I mentioned. You need to store that sort of large amount of data, it's growing. Um, and by 2020, you're going to have 50 times the amount of data that you've, you've currently got in your, in your businesses. Um, so you need somewhere to put all that. There's then the, the, the fact that you need to protect all that and the security. And then, say, then the final bit is you only store that data if it has value, so you then need to analyse it. Systems are moving to the cloud, and those systems are going to be using big data and they're going to be storing data. So there's no escaping it, whether you're in the cloud or physical, it's happening. Moving to the cloud is a journey, and there are various points at which you can come into it. So you can go into the private cloud, or you can start with hosted applications, or you can use a public cloud. And the, the, the thing we're doing now, IOMR and HP, is helping to make that easy for the customers to move between them. So what IOMR's been doing is basically putting our effort and investment into where we see the next phase uh, you know, is... You know, certainly there's plenty of um, companies out there that will provide you with the virtualization services, but what they don't do is provide you with appropriate storage and connectivity services, and that's the area we're focusing on now. Cloud computing is a, a fantastic challenge for us. Um, we've had to learn new skills. We've had to change the way that we think about the services that we provide. Um, We've had to also deal with the, the, the there are inherent limitations in, in current cloud technologies and we've had to, to work around them. But overall it's been a, a positive journey um, and it's one that we will continue on um, as, we, as we grow and expand.